Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome to another installment of the Weekly Wing-In. Today, we're going to be talking about the controversy surrounding the missing funds of the F Your Beauty Standards merchandise that's supposed to go to a domestic violence shelter. And we're also going to be calling out Tess Holiday on her Photoshop bullshit. If you have been with me from the very beginning, you probably remember a series that I did on my blog and my YouTube channel entitled, Is Photoshop the Devil? In this series, I talked about how there is a heavy use of Photoshop, especially when it comes to celebrities on the red carpet. Well, the plus world is no different, and one particular plus model in particular, especially since she blew up on Instagram, is Tess Holliday. As a matter of fact, a lot of her photographs are photoshopped. Like, for example, this photo right here. Notice that on the left, she's got dimples on her thighs. She also has a gut and her breast is saggy. Now, take a good hard look at the picture on the left. You notice that her skin is smoother. She's more toned. Her breasts are perkier. And she's got no gut. I mean, come on. Where is her gut? And where, for the love of God, is her thumb? For a plus model that seems to be an inspiration for many big gals out there, and the founder of F Your Beauty Standards, you would like to think that she would shun the use of Photoshop in all of her images. Let's take a look at another. This is her Instagram photo, and on the right is the professional photo where her stomach has magically disappeared. And also, let's talk about her fluctuating size. Now, some of the tablets say that she is a size 22, while other tablets say that she is a size 24, and some are saying that she is a size 26 to a 28. She's also lying about her weight, which I feel is bullshit as well. As someone who once crunched the scales at 250 pounds, I know that to not be true because at her height, at 5'4", there is no way that she can be over 250 pounds. As a matter of fact, she is the same height and weight as my younger sister who crunches the scales at 315 pounds. So, Tess, make up your mind. What size are you and what is your real weight? That's all we want to know. For someone who strives to promote body positivity, lying about your weight, and lying about your dress size is bullshit. Now, am I fat shaming Tess? Well, absolutely not. I just think she needs to be a little bit more truthful about her weight and her dress size, especially if she wants to promote the hashtag F your beauty standards, because how can you F your beauty standards when you're lying about your weight and your dress size in the first place? But that's neither here nor there. The real reason I am doing this video is to actually call her out on the scandal behind the F Your Beauty Standards merchandise and how that money was supposed to go to a domestic violence shelter. We're going to find out where that money actually went. A lot of you remember the controversy surrounding the merchandise emblazoned with the logo F Your Beauty Standards, and it was sold for $40 a pop or $40 per t-shirt, correct? Well, as a matter of fact, the proceeds were supposed to go to a domestic violence shelter in LA. Great cause, right? Well, the proceeds were definitely supposed to go to this charity. And long story short, well, a lot of the fans never received their merchandise. Hmm. Something stinks here, right? And also another thing, the charity never received their money. So here is my question. Where the fuck did that money go? It's not just about scamming her fans. Apparently, Tess Holiday is not a very nice person either, especially when it comes to the people that she has worked with in the past. But we will we'll get to that subject a little later. There was an imager blog that showed a few images where... Apparently, 
she was defending herself and how another company was taking over the merchandising of out your beauty standards. But what about the money? Why didn't that domestic violence shelter get the money? Well, back in December, she decided to make up for it to save face with their fans by volunteering during Christmas at this domestic violence shelter. But, you know, I mean, that's all fine and good. Yes, helping out the less fortunate is good for the soul, but I honestly think that she did it to save face, to hide the fact that she scammed all of that money from her fans. Well, as a result of the F Your Beauty Standards merchandise not being delivered, there has also been a face group that has been created as a result of the scandal. As a matter of fact, it is called F Your Beauty Standards. And this was where a lot of people who didn't receive their merchandise had something to say. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read a few of these things to you and you can make the call yourself. One customer says, there was also no merchandise either, so yes, this is fraud. It is extremely deceitful. She played on our emotions. Here was what another customer had to say. When you purchase something, you are entering a contract. Your receipt is actually a contract. Shirts were purchased with the condition that a portion of the cost was to be set aside and donated, which did not happen, as she had plainly said in this post. Here is another complaint from a disgruntled customer. Selling people something, never getting it to them. Stating that you are going to donate a portion of the proceeds to a specific charity and then failing to follow through with anything that is actually considered fraudulent activity. People bought those items to support that specific charity and they were deceived. And here is the complaint that is the nail in the coffin for the F Your Beauty Standards merchandise. Fraud. Regardless of intent, yes. And like, how on earth did F Your Beauty Standards operate at a loss? You sold t-shirts at a price that was way over the cost of general sale and a price that was often way over actual shipping costs. There were no operating costs, no advertising, all social media, no brick and mortar operation, no depreciation, no vehicles or transportation. I mean, seriously, a loss? Ouch. In conclusion, if this is all true and we want to give Tess the benefit of the doubt, only Tess knows what really happened. And that is between her, the devil, and God. The thing is, I hope that she can actually sleep at night, if this is true, knowing what she has done. And if she can, we hope that her deception was worth her 15 minutes of fame and that she can finally get her dance with the devil. So beautiful people, you know the drill. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to share your thoughts on this week's subject, please leave a comment in the comment section below because I would love to read your thoughts. Also, if you want to spread the love, hit the share button. And if you like what I'm doing on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to keep up with my latest Instagram posts, tweets, podcasts, or my latest videos on this channel three times a week, you can check them out at one place and my brand spanking new website at fatmiddleagedgingerpdx.weebly.com. Well, I am signing off, but I will see you beautiful people for Food Porn Friday.